All right, y'all. So last time we found this beautiful Frostcrag Spire tower. It is so nice. We fully upgraded it and it is a beautiful player home. I wish I would have found it sooner. I'm not really a mage build, but I did do the Mages Guild quest line. I'm sort of like a magical knight, you know? But this is beautiful. Next time I play a mage character, I'm definitely coming straight here for this house. It is so pretty. Oh, and we met the Adoran fan. He finally came out to greet us. <laughs> and now I was thinking we could do that mysterious door quest in Nibbin Bay. That one looks really interesting. Let's see, it was all the way down here because we got it really early. Let's see. Here it is, door in Nibbin Bay. I heard a rumor that a strange doorway has appeared on a small island in Nibbin Bay. I should investigate. I certainly will. There it is. Okay, come on y'all. Alright, where can we get the closest to it? Hmm. You know, what makes me nervous is I see no walkway, no bridge to this area. <sighs> That's not great. <laughs> This chapel kind of messed me over last time, so I definitely don't want to fast travel there. Maybe I could get to it from this peninsula. That might be the quickest way with the least amount of water. So let's go here to the flooded mine. Of course it would be the flooded mine, right? <laughs> Just to heighten my fear that much more, you know? Oh, and it keeps telling me I have too many followers, but I can see why. <laughs> hey buddies. Oh, Martin was testing his sword. He's like making sure that it's still there. It's there, buddy. It's beautiful too. All right, come on, buddies. Oh goodness. It's right over here. Oh, I really hate water, y'all. I hope it's not under the water. That would really suck. That would be worse. Right. Where is it? Is it that island over there? Oh my lord, I'm so scared. Oh my goodness, I'm scared. <laughs> the game hates me, y'all. It hates me <laughs> so much. Oh, all right, buddies. I, I think it's underwater. It must be. <laughs> oh, because I can't see it. <gasps> oh, it's underwater, isn't it? Oh my lord. I'm so upset. Oh my god, I'm upset. Oh, shoot. Okay. Okay. Where? Where is the door? Is it really underwater? Oh. I don't know what's worse, because I'm thinking about putting on my water walking shoes and walking over there to see what I can see, but then I'm afraid of the water just beneath me. So, either way, I'm scared. <laughs> Oh, wait, is that it? I see something, sort of. Is that it? Oh, wait, I meant to crouch. Ah, uh, no. No, no way, it's underwater. The amount of upset I am is... It's really high. It's really very high. Okay, 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 okay. So this is the plan. It's not discovered yet. I'm thinking what I can do is maybe I can swim over it, discover it, and then I won't have to actually go through it. I can just go straight to it. Oh Lord. Oh my, oh, oh, I didn't need that. I didn't need that right now. I didn't need that. Where, y'all, y'all, where? Oh. All that fan fan, all that fan fan for him? For him? Wow. Okay, all right, so that's, that's the plan, okay? That's the plan. I am terrified, I am terrified, but that is the plan. That is the plan. We're gonna swim, we're gonna swim. I'm not, I'm just gonna look at the sky. How about that? I'll look at the sky and, and, and everything will be fine and I'm not gonna duck my head underwater. It's not gonna happen. Huh, okay, 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 okay. We're okay, we're okay, we're okay. We're gonna look at, oh, look at that beautiful, that looks like the moon, okay. Just gonna look at the sky. Oh, the sky is beautiful. It is beautiful. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, wait, 
Wait, I see something over there. Okay, okay, I don't think I have to go into water, y'all. I'm aware of how many followers I have. Okay. Oh, <sighs> okay. I'm saving here. <laughs> I don't want to do that again. Whew. Oh, wow. This is very intricate. I have found a strange door. Yeah, that certainly is a strange door. Not my hey, buddies. Why is he God in it? Here hey. Comes another right. one. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why? Everything is wrong. It can't be done. Stay away from me. What's I going on with him? You can't make me go back. Wait, I'll wait, wait. Kill you all. You're wait. all going to die. Stay back. What do you mean? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't, fire. don't, don't. Wait, 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 wait. Bad. I thought I hey, buddy. I oh, my bad. Lord. Punished. They'll all be punished. Wait, why are you, why are you hurting him? <laughs> oh, oh, my Lord. Oh, my Lord. Can y'all stop? Can y'all chill? Wait, wait, wait. Can y'all chill, please? Getting tired. I, I don't know who to choose in this fight. This is the part where you fall down and bleed to death. You'll never take me down. Can y'all chill? I'm, I'm gonna go talk to the only reasonable person here. Wait, wait, buddy, 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 wait. No, go away. I'm not here. What do you mean you're not here? Hey wait, 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 buddy. You're definitely here. My friends can see you too. Whoa. Wait, 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 buddy. Hold on, hold on. You have but no, go away. I'm not here. Oh, okay, buddy. This is the part where you Show fall you down got. and bleed to death. Yo, can we Why? talk? Can Why? we speak? You die. Oh my Do lord. Your worst. Oh, okay, okay. I don't know. Mushroom tree sapling. Find nothing of use. You know what? I'm not getting involved in that. I'm just not. Let's go through the door, y'all. It looks dangerous, but let's go into it, okay? Oh my goodness. Look at my friends. Stay away. Y'all are eager to go in, huh? Come on. Oh lord, the fringe. The door will not yet open to me. Why not? Why won't the door open to me? Is there something wrong with me? All right. I need. Now I'm really not going after him. I don't belong. Not my place. Hey, buddy, what am I supposed to be doing? No, go away. I'm not here. Okay, you're not here. Um. Unworthy, unworthy, unworthy. Useless mortal meat. Walking bag of dumb. Hello? Uh, can I get him without getting in the water? Nice effort, though. Shame he's dead. <laughs> These things happen. Who's saying that? All right. Bring me a champion. Rend the flesh <gasps> of my Oh, my lord. Okay, he wasn't even worth searching. Ah! Okay, okay, okay. Ah! Golly! Really? Do come in. It's lovely in the aisles right now. Perfect time for a visit. Who is saying that? Hello? Buddy, what's going on did here? Did you hear that? Did you? I did. Voices from nowhere. Madmen. Oh, where does it end? How did I get this posting? Uh, buddy, I don't know. Hey. No, go away. I'm not here. Uh, all right. Can I go in now? Is it okay? Uh, hey, buddy. Where are my friends? Please, have a seat. Uh, okay. Who are you? Yes, what can I do for you? I imagine you're here about the door. Yeah, it's really weird. Yes, you have entered and now you are here. Amazing. Truly. Who are you? I am Haskell, Chamberlain to the Lord Sheagorath. This is Sheagorath's place? Okay, buddy, what is this place? You approach the Shivering Isles. Through the door behind me lies the realm of Sheagorath, Prince of Madness, 
Lord of the Never There. Why did that door appear in Cyrodiil? Because my lord wills it to be so. It poses no danger to Mundus. No compact has been violated. It is a doorway, an invitation. Perhaps you will accept it for what it is. Uh, but what do you want with me? For you? I do not know. My lord seeks a mortal to act as his champion. As for his intent, to attempt to fathom it is a foolish endeavor. His will is his own. His reality follows suit. You are here because you chose to enter. You were not summoned. And the people outside? They entered this realm and were ill-prepared. Their minds are now the property of my lord. Oh, wow. Can they be cured? Cured? You speak as if they are diseased. They live now in another state of being. Perhaps it is you who needs a cure. Buddy, well, what happens now? You do as you will. You may leave the way you entered. Your life will be none the worse for your time spent here. Or you may continue onward through the door behind me. If a you door. can pass the gates of madness, perhaps the Lord Sheogorath will find a use for you. Uh, and if I go through the door? Who is to say? There are always choices to be made. The realm of madness is no different in that regard. Your choices are your own. Hmm. Enter or do not, but make your decision. I have other duties to which I must attend. All right, buddy. Speak with me again when you have made up your mind. The anticipation is almost too much to bear. What happened to my friends? Can I look at your little book? The man who would be emperor of all Tamriel was born Theras Pelagius Septum, a king a prince of the royal family of Wayrist in the third era, 119, at the end of the glorious reign of his uncle At Atticus I. Wayrist had been showered by much preference during the years before Pelagius's birth, for the King Magnus was Ant Anticus's favorite brother. It's hard to say when Pelagius's madness first manifested itself, for in truth, the first 10 years of his life were marked by much insanity in the land itself. When Pelagius was just over a year old, At Atrios died, and a daughter, Kintara, assumed the throne to the acclaim of all. Kintara II, the Kintara II, <laughs> was Pelagius's cousin and an accomplished mystic and sorceress. If she had sufficient means to peer into the future, she would have surely fled the palace. The story of the War of the Red Diamond has been told in the many other scholarly journals. But as most historians agree, Kintara's II's reign was usurped by her and Pelagius's cousin, Uriel, by the power of his mother, Potema, the so-called Wolf Queen of Solitude. The year after her coronation, Kintara was trapped in Glen Point and imprisoned in the Imperial Dungeons there. All of Tamriel exploded into warfare as Prince Uriel took the throne as Uriel III, and High Rock became the imprisoned empress's presence there was the location of some of the bloodiest battles. Pelagius' father, King Magnus, allied himself with his brother, Sephorius, against the usurper emperor and brought the wrath of Uriel III and Queen Potema down on Wayrus. Pelagius, his brothers and sisters, and his mother fled to the Isle of Belfaria. His mother was in the line of the Darani, and her family, Mens, is still located on that ancient isle even to this day. There is thankfully much written record of Pelagius' childhood in Belfaria, recorded by nurses and visitors. All who met him described him as a handsome, personable boy, interested in sport, magic, and music. Even assuming diplomats' lack of candor, Pelagius seemed, if anything, a blessing to the future of the Septum dynasty. When Pelagius was eight, Sephorus slew Uriel III at the Battle of Uchidag and proclaimed himself Emperor Sephorius I. For the next 10 years of his reign, Sephorius battled Potema. Pelagius' first battle was the Siege of Solitude, which ended with Potema's death and the final end of the war. In gratitude, Sephorius placed Pelagius on the throne of Solitude. As King of Solitude, Pelagius' eccentricities of behavior began to become noticeable. As a favorite nephew of the emperor, few diplomats to Solitude made critical commentary about Pelagius. For the first two years of his reign, Pelagius was was at the very least noted for his alarm and shifts in weight. Four months after taking the throne, a diplomat from Ebenhart called Pelagius a 
hale and haughty soul, with a heart so big it widened his waist. <laughs> Five months after that, the visiting princess of First Hold wrote that her brother, that the king gripped my hand and it felt like I was being clutched by a skeleton. Pelagius is greatly emaciated indeed. Sephorius never married and died childless three years after the Siege of Solitude. As the only surviving sibling, Pelagius' father, Magnus, left the throne of Waverus and took residence at the Imperial City as Emperor Magnus I. Magnus was elderly, and Pelagius was his oldest living child, so the attention of Tamriel focused on Sentinel. By this time, Pelagius' eccentricities were becoming infamous. There were many legends about his acts as the king of Sentinel but few well-documented cases exist. It is known that Pelagius locked the young princes and princesses of Sylvanar in his room with him, only releasing them when an unsigned declaration of war was slipped under the door. When he tore off his clothes during a speech he was given at a local festival, his advisors apparently decided to watch him more carefully. On the orders of Magnus, Pelagius was married to the beautiful heiress of an ancient dark elf noble family, Katarina Ra Raatham. Nordic kings who marry dark elves seldom improve their popularity. There are two reasons most scholars give for the union. Magnus was trying to cement relations with Ebenhot, where the Ratham clan hailed. Ebenhot's neighbor, Mornhold, had been a historical ally of the empire since the very beginning and the royal consort of Queen Berenziah, who won many battles in the War of the Red Diamond. Ebenhot had a poorly kept secret in aiding Uriel III and Potema. The other reason for the marriage was more personal. Katarina was a shrewd diplomat as she was beautiful. If any creature was capable of hiding Pelagius's madness, it was she. On the 8th of the second seed, third era 155, Magnus the I died quietly in his sleep. Jolette, Potamus's sister, took over the throne of solitude and Pelagius and Katerina rode to the imperial city to be crowned emperor and empress of Tamriel. It is said that Pelagius is fainted when the crown was placed on his head, but Katerina held him up so only those closest to the thrones could see what had happened. Like so many Pelagius stories, this cannot be verified. Pelagius III never truly ruled Tamriel. Katarina and the Elder Council made all the decisions and only tried to keep Pelagius from embarrassing all. Still, stories of Pelagius III's reign exist. It was said that when the Argonian ambassador from Black Rose came to court, Pelagius insisted upon speaking in all grunts and squeaks. <laughs> as that was the Argonian's natural language. It is known that Pelagius was obsessed with cleanliness and many guests reported walking to the noise of an early morning scrub down in the Imperial Palace. The legend of Pelagius while inspecting the servants work suddenly defecating on the floor to give them something to do is probably apocryphal. When Pelagius became when Pelagius began actually biting and attacking visitors to the Imperial Palace, it was decided to send him to a private asylum. This poor man. Katarina was proclaimed regent two years after Pelagius took the throne. For the next six years, the, em the emperor stayed in a series of institutions and asylums. That poor guy. Traitors to the empire have many lies to spread about this period. Whispered stories of heinous experiments and tortures performed on Pelagius have become accepted as fact. The noble lady Katarina became pregnant shortly after the emperor was sent away and rumors of infidelity and even more absurd conspiracies to keep the sane emperor locked away ran amok. As Katarina proved, her pregnancy came about after a visit to her husband's cell. With no other evidence, as loyal subjects, we are bound to accept the Empress's word on the matter. Her second child, who would reign for many years as Uriel the Fourth, was the child of her union with the consort was the child of her union with her consort Lariette, and publicly announced as such. On the warm night in the sun's dawn on his 34th year, Pelagius III died after a brief fever in his cell at the Temple of Kinnereth in the Isle of Bethany. Katarina, uh, Katarina I reigned for another 46 years before passing the scepter on to the only child she had with Pelagius, Cassiner. Pelagius' wild behavior has made him perversely dear to the province of his birth and death. The second of the sun's dawn, which may or may not have been the anniversary of his death, records are not very clear, is celebrated as Mad Pelagius, the time when foolishness of all sorts is encouraged. 
And so one of the least desirable emperors in the history of the Septim dynasty has become one of the most famous ones. I wouldn't say he was least desirable. He seems like a very interesting man. All right, buddy, it's interesting that you have his book here. It's also interesting that I can cast no magic in here. Hmm. All right, buddy. Well, I wonder what happened to my friends. Well, have you made up your mind? I guess they can't the come with me. tension is almost palpable. I'm hearing you. I'll do it. Fine. I'm sure my lord will be most pleased, assuming you ever manage to see him. You'll want to pass through the gates of madness. Oh, and mind the gatekeeper. He dislikes strangers to the realm. Ooh, that sounds creepy. Enjoy your stay. Thanks, buddy. Okay. Let's get up. Let me up. Wait, let me up. Huh? Oh! That is beautiful. Whoa. The walls just disappeared. Can I get up? Can I get up, please? Wait. Nothing I'm doing is working. I can't leave the chair. Okay, there we go. I have entered the Shivering Isles. In order to find the Lord of this realm, I must first pass through the gates of madness. Oh, my poor buddies. They're not here with me. Oh, wow. Oh, this is beautiful. Ooh. It's so pretty. Oh. Oh, oh, oh goodness. Hey, buddy. Hey. Ooh. Ow, 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 buddy. Ooh, they're tough here. They're really tough. You're a pain bringer, huh? Ooh, you're definitely bringing the pain. I'll give you that. He sounds like a little pig when he gets hit. That's so sad. Hey, buddy. Aw. You had a cleaver, huh? Oh, and you had gold. Thanks, buddy. What is that? You killed that, buddy? Aw, that was cute. He killed him. That's upsetting. Wow, this place is beautiful. I wonder what's going to happen to my friends, though. <laughs> I guess they'll be waiting outside the, the door. I think I got to go this way. Oh, wow. There are houses here, so I guess there are people living here. Oh, I got two nav points, too. What does that indicate? I found pass wall. Oh. To warn them. This is like a whole town in and of itself. Maybe they're just confused. Sheldon, Farless. They should have listened to me. Hey, buddies. We'll be swimming in blood soon. <laughs> Yuck. Oh, no. Hey, buddy. He said, what can I do for you, son? I, he didn't actually say it, but... I was wondering about the gatekeeper. He guards the gates of madness. See mm -hmm. for yourself. He's about to destroy a party of adventurers. Really? What are the gates of madness exactly? They say the keys are sewn up in the gatekeeper's body. Basically, that means you're not getting in. Really? Uh, what is Passwall? The place was pretty deserted when I got here. Of course, once I was here, others followed. Can't say I blame them. I'm hearing you. Do you know any rumors? There's a man in Bliss who believes his own house will collapse around him. Oh, no. In Bliss. That's interesting, buddy. Thank you. I amaze me. <laughs> he said, I amaze me. Where are they running off to? Greetings. Hey, buddy. J. Red, how are I'm you? I'm J. Red Ice Veins. Hi. Do you ever wonder why things look better without their skin on? For instance... You can only really see the bones when you take them out. You can hear them better that way, too. All right, buddy. <laughs> I'm, I'll go 
fingernail. Bye, buddy. If you hear any bones talking, come get me right away. If you hear any bones talking, leave me alone, buddy. Leave me alone. <laughs> oh, my lord. Oh, okay. <laughs> you there, stay away oh, from whoa, the whoa. Let us handle this. I've fought mud crabs. More fearsome than you. Oh, my lord. Wait. Oh, that's the gatekeeper? So. Oh, my lord. Oh, no. They're bleeding. Oh, my lord. Wait, 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 wait. Wait. Retreat. Oh no, he killed them all! The formidable gatekeeper has destroyed a party of adventurers. I should talk to the residents of Passwall before trying to deal with him. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Oh lord, oh lord. Wait, 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 buddies, buddies, wait, hold on, hold on. I need to talk to you before defeating him. Hey, buddy. I'm Fellas Sarandis. Hi. Don't breathe on me. Okay, I'll try not to. Uh, what do you know about the gatekeeper? Pretty scary, isn't he? Yeah. Jared's planning on killing him. Really? I don't know how. The gatekeeper looks indestructible to me. Probably wants to skin him. <laughs> All right. Uh, I guess I'll Goodbye. talk to Jared, huh? I've decided to attempt to become Shiagorath's champion. In order to meet Shiagorath, I must I must first pass through the gates of madness guarded by the gatekeeper. Oh my lord. If you need something, better talk to me. <laughs> Okay. I guess I'll talk to J Red. Hey, buddy, you seemed capable. You didn't die from him anyway. He's too much. Killed all my men. I know I saw. Out of my way. Okay. Bye, buddy. J Red. <laughs> I'd like to talk to you, buddy. Where is he? J Red? Oh, Lord, I'm so lost. Look at him. Wait, uh, J, J Red? I thought maybe he could help me, maybe give me some advice. J Red! Alright, I'll just go back to the nav point. If I needed to talk to him, he would be nav pointed. Oh my lord, I'm trying to get around this water, I don't want to be by it. Hey buddy, Hi. I would like to talk to you. What can I do for you, Sir Knight? Hi buddy, uh... What do you know about the gatekeeper? I want him dead. Mm -hmm. I need him dead. His bones are calling to me. Oh. Rumor has it you want him dead, too. I do, actually. If you're any good with a lockpick, we can help each other out. We okay. can get into the gardens of flesh and bone. Oh, Lord. Okay, uh, about the gardens of flesh and bone? They say the gatekeeper's magical. I don't believe in magic, but I do believe in bones. <laughs> and the best way to kill something is with the bones of its own. I can see the bones of a dead gatekeeper in the courtyard of the gardens. The door's locked, though. You'll pick that lock, mm -hmm. and I'll collect the bones. Then I'll make some arrows, and we'll kill the gatekeeper. Sound good? Yeah, um, sounds great. Lead on. Here, take this lockpick. Careful, okay. it's the only one I've got. You open the door, I'll kill things. I'll be Let's all right. Go. I got the skeleton key. I shouldn't need any fancy lockpicks. Buddy, where'd you run off to? Oh, hey. Oh, my lord. All right, all right, all right. Chill, chill, chill. Can you go a little slower? Goodness, he's fast. All right, buddy. All right, I found the gardens of flesh and bone. All right, Hurry, okay. Take that lock open. I can hear them in there. Uh, I'm hearing you. It says it's very easy. It also says... Okay. Shoot. There you go. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord! Okay. Okay. They're terrifying and they're very tough. Woo! Whoa! They're huge! What are they? Oh my lord. They- okay. I'm gonna die rapidly here. 
These enemies are tough. Oh lord. Okay, I better re-enchant my sword. <laughs> He's about to hit me. All right, I got a petty soul in here. All right, thank you. Whoa, buddy, ah, mmm. That hurt me. That hurt me. Oh good, you're up. Woo! Okay, that's better. The enchantment didn't last very long, but they're on him now, so that's good. Whew. Okay, he, 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 he's unconscious. He's unconscious. Oh Lord. Buddy, what's on these guys that you need? Can we just take what's on him and go? Do we really have to kill the other ones? I got his bone marrow. Oh Lord. Ooh. Ooh. All right, chill, 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 chill. Oh my Lord. All right, good, you're up. What kind of arrows are you using? You're using bone arrows. You already have bone arrows. Oh Lord. Am I supposed to be impressed? I'm gonna pick these up. Whoa. Oh, oh Lord. Alright, buddies. Chill. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Whoa. Oh my lord. Oh Lord. All right, buddy. Uh. Uh. <sighs> die, damn you. Getting a lot of bone arrows. All right, I got his bone marrow. Oh, gosh. Where are you, buddy? Please tell me he's not in the wall. Oh Lord. Oh good, you came out of the wall. <laughs> okay, buddy. All right, I got his bone shod. Okay. Is that it, buddy? Here we are. From okay. these gatekeeper bones, I can make some arrows. Oh, you needed the gatekeeper bones, okay. When will these bone arrows be ready? Find me in a few hours. We'll kill the gatekeeper. Okay. That's okay. That sounds good. Uh, how are bone arrows going to kill him? The arrows aren't ready yet. Come back later. Okay, I'm hearing you. Can you tell me more about the gates of madness? I can hear them calling to me from the other side. We need to kill the gatekeeper. He has the keys. I'm hearing you. Okay, uh, what kind of rumors do you know? There's a Khajiit in Crucible who believes the world is about to end. Oh, no. That's terrible that he believes that. Okay, buddy, what more can you tell me about the gatekeeper? He must die. It's the only way. And about Passwall? I followed the bones. They led me here. I just moved in when I got here. No one seemed to mind. Everyone here seems to be waiting for something. All right, buddy. <laughs> I'm hearing you. Let me know if you need something killed. Okay. I will, buddy. I like him. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, and if you like the video, don't be afraid to subscribe. Bye, y'all.